1970s, you call the machine is traveling to the time work continue, or maybe it's taking a DeLorean to travel back to the future. Even if you're freaking out about what's going on, why my coding machine is only playing 1970 movie? What's wrong? There's no such thing as travel time. Why only see 1970s? So please, let's get back right now to 2016, and after this, I'll show you why your coding machine is only playing. 1970 movies. Okay, how we doing everyone? So we are back in 2016 um, after the crazy intro. Okay, so the idea is to give you a tip how to fix the 1970 problem. What I've been reading, um, a lot of people been getting stuck in 1970s, only shows 1970 movies on Cody, um, no longer updates, sure because the time is wrong. Uh, it's not happened to me personally. What I did, I had a friend who has this problem. So he asked me if I can resolve uh, this problem. And also went online and I see a lot of forms where people have this problem. So the idea of, besides this, the idea of this channel is try to see what the problems are and create videos to help the community. So, you know, to help you guys uh, find a solution. So I'll try my best. And to show you, there is no way for me to emulate the problem, but I can show you how to fix it. And one of the things I'm thinking maybe is only happening in, in uh, on KitKat 44.2, uh, because I was uh, that particularly 44.2 allowed me to go all the way back to 1970 when I tried 5.1 Android only allow me to go all the way to 2009. So maybe that's a problem. So what I'm running right now, we're gonna to go to settings. So just to show you once. So in the box model is the M8S, and this is the operating system, right? 442. So from here, we're gonna check a few things first. I'm sure maybe people went over with this, but again, they has got over, we're gonna go more settings. And we're gonna go into time. And time, make sure this is clicky, because the way it works, it every time you start the box from cold start, mean when it's no power, it will check the time through the internet. The problem is these boxes are like Raspberry Pi, they don't have an internal battery. So it means every time you shut it off, all the information is gone. So you need to reconnect to the internet to pull the time. And these boxes actually, they are meant to be connected 24 hours. There's no way to play anything without the internet, except if you use some games, but if you use it for movies, it needs to be all the time on. Netflix or whatever. So make sure this is always click. The idea is you have to pull the time and make sure you check here and check your time zone, okay? So we're gonna do that. You want military hour, you can choose military hour, 24 hours. They say now this is click and you did it already. Okay, yeah, you know, you added this already, it's still not working. So the next thing, what I've been reading on it, is you need to make sure you update. So again, you go to my apps and go into the Google Store, Google Play. If you have an account, you can create an account in any computer and then come here and then you log in into it. If you really have an Android phone, you can use the same, the same account. Okay, so you're gonna go here. You go to my apps and games. And make sure here everything is updated. You can hit update. It will update everything. What it seems to be the problem too, if you're running the old version of Google Play, it will keep a problem. So in case you you just log in and you create an account in the box and it's an update, it will do an update see if that don't resolve the problem. You still have the problem and give the final solution. Maybe you just want to do the final solution and you don't need to do anything else. You're going to download this app, Clock Sync. So you just go over, search for Clock Sync. We see right over here. It's this one. I already installed it. So with a million downloads, okay? And here we see some screenshot of the Clock Sync. It's a free, so we're gonna hit open. In just case, it's already installed, so I hit open from the Google Play. Here we got the time, the time, the offset time. Then from here, 
we go settings see here NTP server that's where it pulls the time auto synchronization every 10 seconds and you want to be enabled okay I do not remember this was checked as default but make sure you check it okay you want that automatically the rest you don't need to do anything else you want to say CPU you can do that if not I think mostly that's for a phone so it makes no difference really this is phone when you want to save data we're not saving data we don't care definitely you I think this is click by default so you don't want any notification you know you're using a media box to see movies and something else play games you don't want nothing come out on the screen or a bar because nobody uses the bar okay you can do the time zone if you want I think you don't have to and what else this no problem it's nice because all the boxes are already root so we don't need to worry and the next here okay synchronization and boot time click let's re-import this one so what it means is every time you call shut down your box you take the power off you plug it in back again this time the software should be able to update the time if you want to set the language you can send the language I will not click anything else I think this one comes to click by default again this is for the form so you can unclick it maybe it makes no difference yeah it's nobody really this box so you can unclick it and I think this will fix your problem if you guys know anything different if you find any other solution please help the community by putting a post um, again just you know make sure you put a post if you enjoy the video click like the video and join my channel I try to update once a week I'm trying to search for information up there and see what the problems are and try to give you different tips you know how to help you uh, get the media box running top-notch uh, with this we complete the video so I hope you guys enjoy it and thank you for the time